Flights delayed and rerouted while an investigation was underway. New Center Maine's Jackie Mundry joins us now from the airport with the details. Jackie? If you do not have a face Hi, Hannah. Yeah, police say that there was something that they thought might be an explosive in a checked bag that was leaving here in Portland on a flight to Virginia. The bag belonged to a 44-year-old Virginia man who police say was cooperative. It was a, it was a camera system that there were two levels of uh, security checks that indicated that there was an explosive or TATP. Portland Police Chief Frank Clark says his crew and the Portland Fire Department were called shortly after 1 p.m. this afternoon. Assistant Airport Director Zach Sunquist says his team quickly shut down the airport. We practice for these situations all the time, uh, and so when it actually occurs, uh, everybody's in place. There were six arriving flights impacted by the airport closure. One of those flights was coming from Baltimore and diverted to Manchester. Jason Lindstrom's 14-year-old stepson was on that flight. So it's been a little unnerving, kind of waiting and trying to figure out what's going on. Unnerving for a lot of folks who were waiting to see what was going on here at the airport. Police did say that there was, in fact, not an explosive anywhere to be found. And the airport reopened at about 4.30 this afternoon. And Portland Police and Portland Fire uh, passed the matter over to TSA. Live at the Jetport, Jackie Mundry, New Center, Maine.